and it can also damage buildings so it's very important to remove these unburnt hydrocarbons now substitution reactions with halogens now um, alkanes under you, you know that alkanes cannot undergo any addition reactions because you you already know that nothing can be added to an alkane so they under they undergo uh, substitution reactions so in substitution reactions you remove a hydrogen atom and you replace it with the desired with with another desired atom in this case it is chlorine so actually this equation i have forgot to write plus hcl because you can see that that the hydrogen a hydrogen is being released from here a chlorine is being released from here so both of them combine to form hydrogen chloride now from ethane we get chloroethane and this has chloroethane has one less hydrogen than ethane so you know this reaction has taken taken place now this reaction only takes place only this reaction only takes place in the presence of ultraviolet light now when we do the free radical substitution mechanism in the next slide we will understand the importance of this ultraviolet light but what you need to know is that if you keep this reaction mixture in the dark it will not happen because there will be no ultraviolet light so ultraviolet light is very important for this reaction so the free radical substitution mechanism that's what we are doing uh, right now so as you know a, a free radical is a species that can that 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 has an unpaired electron if you remember the presentation on uh, uh the 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 playlist on introduction to organic chemistry we understood that free radicals are species with an unpaired electron so this mechanism which uh, which uh, this mechanism which is actually uh, taking place while alkanes are being substituted with halogens have free radicals involved with them and let's and and this reaction is called a chain reaction because it occurs in a series of steps so we it's really important for us to remember all these all these steps because um, we get five marks just to write this entire mechanism in the exam so the first step is called initiation in the initiation step ultraviolet light breaks down chlorine gas to two chlorine free radicals so ultraviolet light breaks down chlorine gas to two chlorine free radicals now let's take ethane as the alkene so the second step is called propagation propagation so in the propagation step um the chlorine free radical it attacks the the alkene to give this free radical which is the ethyl free radical because you can see one hydrogen has been removed from ethane so it becomes ethyl so the ethyl free radical plus hcl because a hydrogen has been removed has been removed and the hydrogen radical which was removed it combines with the chlorine radical to form hcl then the next propagation step there are two propagation step this is the first one this is the second one so again propagation this ethyl free radical it attacks the chlorine molecule again and we get the chloro we get chloroethane plus the chlorine free radical so basically um this now reacts with the Chlor uh, the chlorine molecule undergoes homolytic fission you can see that homolytic fission is taking place because homolytic fission results in the formation of radicals so you can see that first the chlorine uh, the chlorine molecule breaks to form two chlorine free radicals then the chlorine free radical attacks the eth the ethane molecule to give an ethyl free radical and hcl and then Uh, the ethyl free radical it attacks the chlorine molecule to give to give the chloroethane and a cl free radical because you can see that the chlorine molecule has undergone ho homolytic fission in this and a chlorine free radical is produced while the other chlorine free radical reacts with the ethyl free radical to form chloroethane then the last step is known as the termination step so in the termination step two free free radicals combi combine 
to form a product. Now, this can have multiple combinations. Two chlorine free radicals can com 